What's up, y'all? Y'all, I look so crazy with these glasses on. I look like a little alien or something. <laughs> All right, Fredo, let me quit. But basically, before the tutorial starts, I just wanted to give y'all like the purpose of a vision board. What is the meaning of a vision board? What I think a vision board is. It might not be on point, but this is what I think a vision board is. So basically, a vision board is, is a collage of pictures. Things that you want to see happen, you know, in the future or maybe even right now. People make vision boards at the beginning of the year to inspire them, keep them motivated throughout the year. And, um, yeah, so, for example, let's say one thing you put on your vision board is maybe, um, uh, fruit. That can be something like, okay, this year I want to, you know, eat more fruit. That's the purpose of a vision board. Let's say you put a car on there, like a Range Rover or a Tesla. That's inspire you to keep working hard towards that Tesla. So a vision board is to keep you inspired, to keep you motivated. And anytime that you're feeling down or you're feeling discouraged, one thing you can do is pray. Side note, pray. You're feeling down, you're feeling discouraged. You pull that vision board out and you look at it and you be like, hey, okay, I'm going to get to this. You know, it might take more than a year, but you just have to be motivated. And the first step, like I said, is pray, you know, because that's one thing that people really don't do is pray. You have to pray, y'all. Pray. But basically, like I said, we'll make it a vision board. It's just to, you know, have like a little blueprint, a little plan. Um, And sometimes, y'all, plans really don't work out. But you never know. You just, like what I say, you have to what? Pray. So, yeah. Without further ado, I'm not going to keep talking long. Plus, I look a little, a little, a little rusty, Mr. Kirstie. Y'all, I remember to put Vaseline on my um, lips today, y'all. So, ain't no Mr. Kirstie lips over here, okay? Y'all, that's so ghetto. Oh, I'm in my car, by the way, as you see. I'm, I'm over here already uh, editing the video for y'all. Yeah, I see. But I just wanted to get in my car and record this um, little segment and stuff like this. Um, because it's quiet in here. And plus, when I do the voiceover, it is quiet and it is clear. So that's another reason why I like uh, being in my car when I work on the um, videos and stuff like that. So, yeah. And um, we're making this vision board, y'all. Be creative, okay? Don't go off of other people's vision board. It's your vision board. So, be creative. Find your style. We're making this vision board. And have fun. That's one thing I say. Just have fun, girl. Oh, boy, or whoever might be watching at home or wherever you may be at. Yeah, I'm out of breath. But anyway, enough of me talking. And let's just hop right into the tutorial. Peace out. All right, y'all. So the website we will be using in today's video is canva.com. You can sign up for free. And most of the things that's on this website is free. So whatever you need to make, like thumbnails or whatever, this is the website to go. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is open up a new browser and go to canva.com. Once you get to the website, if you don't have an account, make sure that you sign up. And like I said before, it is free. So once you're done signing up, you want to go into the search um, engine that is in the middle of the page and type in desktop wallpaper. Once you do that, click enter and there is going to be a rectangle box with a plus sign that's the one that you want to pick and as soon as you click that a blank canvas will show up all right so the next website you want to go to is pinterest.com this is the website where you are going to be inspired and where you're going to get your photos from to put on your vision board i personally use pinterest i mean you don't have to use pinterest if you don't want to you can use like bing or google instagram wherever you just want to get your pictures from to put on your vision board you can So for each one of the pictures that you find that you want to add to your vision board, you can go ahead and save that to your computer and you can just keep finding, you know, other pictures that you want to add to your vision board. All 
So it's really not much for me to say at this point. Picking out your pictures for your vision board is like one of the easiest things to do when making a vision board. So um, I will talk to you guys when the next important thing comes up. So peace out, y'all. So once you finish downloading all the pictures that you want on your vision board, you want to go back to the Canva website. So the next step that you want to take is uploading your photos to the website. And how you're going to do that is on the left hand side of the screen, you're going to see upload. Click upload and click the purple button. It says upload media. So what you're going to do now is find your pictures and upload it to the project. And as you can see, that's what I'm doing now. Now this next part of the vision board process is fun. The only thing that you have to do now is start adding your photos to the canvas and place them how you want it. Like I said earlier in the video, the main part of this 
part right here is to have fun be creative and be yourself this is where your natural and creative part of you is going to come out in this vision board One thing that I did forget to mention at the beginning of this video is that pictures is not the only thing that you can add to your vision board. You can add motivational quotes, Bible scriptures, or just any quote that you know that you can go back and read that'll keep you motivated throughout the year to keep pushing towards your goal. Now this next part is optional. You can do it or you don't have to do it if you don't want to. But now I'm just adding the text where it says 2020 vision board. Um, like I said, this part is optional. You can put any font you want to, any color, you know, of the font that you want it to be. Like I said, this part is optional. But if you do this part, remember to be creative. You don't have to go off of mine as you can see, but yeah. And when you finish adding the text to the vision board, that's really it, y'all.
So the very last part, I thought I recorded it, but I guess I didn't. But as soon as you add your text and finish arranging the pictures how you want on your vision board, you can go ahead and click download at the top right hand corner. You'll see it. Um, it's in a rectangular box and it says download. So you want to go ahead and do that. And once you do that, you can set it as your screensaver or, you know, your um, wallpaper on your iMac or laptop, wherever it may be. Uh, you can just go ahead and do that now.